Hi, in the previous tutorial we were looking at how to create and use functions in JavaScript. In this video we're going to quickly look at how to uh, call functions from an event in JavaScript. So uh, this is a function here on the right hand side in my JavaScript uh, file. We've got a function here that I created from the previous tutorial. So it's called same message and it simply just alerts a little message on the screen. Uh, and these parentheses are empty, so there's no parameters, there's no um, values or variables passed into the function when it's called. It's just called um, and then displays an alert message. All right. Um, now, this function, it's been given a name, so we can just call it whenever we like in our code, but we can also call it from events in HTML. So, for example, we could uh, call a function to uh, run some code or perform some instructions when we click on a button or maybe when the page loads or when a particular key on the keyboard is pressed. So in this example, we'll look at how to do that from, um, from a button click, but you can call functions from any event in um, a HTML document. So rather than calling the function after it's created in my JavaScript code, I'm going to delete that line of code. All right, so all I've got now is just my function definition here. Uh, I haven't actually used the function yet. If I go and uh, refresh the page that I've saved, there's nothing that happens yet. But what I'll do is, uh, for this example, I'll add a button to my page and it'll just say, uh, click me. All right, so if we go back and have a look, I've got a button that says click me, but uh, nothing happens yet. Okay, so what I can do is just add an event to this button. So it could be um, an on click event or on mouse out or on mouse over, um, or we could even add an on load event to the body of the page. So this function is called just when the, the page loads. Uh, so any event we can use to uh, call a function from. So I'm going to add an on click event. So I'll say on click equals. And we looked at this in one of the previous tutorials, we looked at how we could, um, you know, do something like, um, you know, alert, um, and we could say like hello or whatever we wanted to do. But we can call a function as well. So within these quotation marks for our on click event, I can just call that function, say message, empty parentheses because there's no um, parameters. And now this code, the function, is going to be called instead. All right, so now let's save the code and go back and we'll refresh this page. And now whenever I click on the function, it calls, uh, whenever I click on the button, sorry, it calls that function. All right, now we could do the same thing if we had uh, parameters for this function. So I might say, let's have a parameter called message. Uh, and instead of alerting just hello world, we can alert whatever message um, whatever value is passed in for the message parameter, whatever argument we provide. So I can specify an argument, what I'd like to display for the message when I call the function. All right, now what's important here is because we're using double quotation marks to contain our on click event, it means that I should probably use uh, single quotation marks um, to specify the value that I'm using um, as an argument for that message parameter. So it might be something like hello, uh, and I've I've stored that I'll put that string that value that's going to be used for the parameter in single quotation marks so it doesn't clash with these double quotation marks. All right, if I save and refresh the page and I click on that, uh, we see oh, uh, I just make sure both files are saved. I forgot to save my JavaScript file because I was still seeing hello world. Refresh again, click on that. This time we see hello. So instead of using what's um, sort of preset or hard coded into the function, now we're using parameters and providing arguments for those parameters. So it says hello. Um, you know, I could change that to goodbye. And um, so now we're using that argument for the message parameter. Okay. And we could have multiple parameters as well. We could, you know, have something like message and then, you know, username or something like that. So it could be. Um, something like, you know, hello, and then another value it could be like something like Joe, and we might, you know, alert message plus user, so it concatenates or joins the message to the username, 
like that. Oops, probably should add a, a space in there or use a, a comma maybe, but um, we'll just add a space in between message and user. Concatenate that. And there we go. So whether you use one parameter or multiple parameters separated by commas, um, that will work. But just make sure that you use different quotation marks to what you've used for the on-click event. Uh, if I used single quotation marks for the on-click event instead, then I should use double quotation marks for the arguments, uh, the string values. Because remember, strings need to be contained within quotation marks. If I was passing in numbers that were going to be used, uh, then you know I don't need to. I don't need to use any quotation marks. I can just pass in uh, a value, um, a number value, without that being in quotation marks because it's not a string. Okay. All right. So that's it for this tutorial. That's how to call a function from an event in uh, HTML code. Thanks for watching.